double magpie. I mean, I could take magpies. The problem is, <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I take double magpie, then at most one of them can steal gold. But I actually don't want it to steal gold on the first turn, so I'm fine rolling and then like wasting an ability here, I think. And let's just take one of those. So they don't get to trigger here. Uh, basically, magpies, if you... Yeah, it's, it's at the end of your turn, it will spend one gold and give it back to you at the start of the next turn. So it basically lets you carry gold across the turns if you need. But it's not, like, incredibly strong. Goncho's, uh... Ar How do I say this? Argentinian cowboys? Either that or I'm about to get disowned. Disowned? No. Alright, let's take these. Uh, chipmunks, basically you give them some sort of equipment, and then when you sell it, it'll give you the equipment back for free. Which is okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm not using the magpies. Actually, in fact, let's sell one. Let's sell one, do that. So I actually will use one magpie, because now it's going to steal my gold, and it'll give it back to me at the start of the next turn, so... It's nice, instead of having like an extra gold free on my... You know, and on a tier 1 shop, I can save it for a tier 2 shop. That was sad. Did they fix Grizzly or is it still glitched? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Alright, Mustox is early. Or Muskox. It's early. I don't know if there's actually any uh, any good things for it on this tier, but it is a very good pet. So I think we do take that. Uh, wait, sell, give one random shop pet with a faint ability plus two plus two. Yeah, I don't have a use for that yet, but maybe we will. I think this is fine. And then I need to debate whether I roll again for the magpie or if I just save the money. <laughs> I'm probably going to save the money, but I don't think it makes much of a difference. We don't have any summons yet, but I'm hoping we can find like an early slug or something and then I can buff up the slug HP maybe. Dude, this is good for us. Grizzly is still glitched. Ah. Great to know. Muskox would go insane with the door head ants. I had forgotten, but you're right. Maybe we can try another push build then. Or, you know, jump in front of stuff build. If I see another one, I'll go for it. Although, the question is, do I... Do I want to combo here? No, I'd rather a combo next turn. Honestly, we probably just can get rid of, like, the magpie or something again. Friend summoned, if in battle. Okay, so we can get rid of this again, I guess. Like, that's really not needed. I think that's fine. I can give this an egg. <laughs> and then I can combine sellers and then give eggs to other things next turn. Uh, there is the door head ant. I guess we do get rid of this. And then I'll need to work out the order. Alright, so this jumps to the front when something dies. So in this case, I let this be at the front. And then when that dies, there'll be an empty slot here. And then the door head ant jumps to the front. And the muskox, it... Yeah, it gains stats every time the thing in front of it dies. Like, directly in front of it. So it gets two triggers, even though it don't have any, like, summons. So I think this works. Would Magpie T-Rex work? I mean, there'd be some synergy there. Oh, yeah, good point. I think it would be, because it's end of turn based. So I think it would work, but you would need your Magpies to be lower attack than the T-Rex. Which may be difficult, considering the T-Rexes will be scaling everything but themselves. <laughs> Maybe use slug. Oh, don't worry. I'm definitely going for a slug. Like, it's... Dude. It's perfect. Alright. So, a slug. Literally one of my favorite pets they've added. <laughs> on faint, it summons a 2-2 smaller slug. And then when that dies, it summons a 1-1 smallest slug. And these aren't just the same thing, but with smaller stats. These are, like, new pets. Different colored slugs. Big fan. Is it you or the do these pets not look as good? I feel like some of them look really janky. Like, I don't really love the bulldog or the chipmunk. I think a lot of the other ones look fine. Like, I think these two are great. I like these three. Uh, love this! Sea urchin is great. Same with the squid. A lot of the tier twos are really good, actually. It's just like, there's an off... Like, every now and then there's one that I'm just like, ah, that doesn't look right. But those are the big two for me. <laughs> I don't love those two. Alright, well... I don't know, do we look for more Mustoxes? Maybe an Emu so we can like push even more things in front of it. Yeah, okay, let's roll it. Avocado, no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't see a reason not to level this. It, it only gains HP when it um, gets leveled up, but it's a combo chance. We can maybe get something out of that. Okay, so we get to see it. So now this is going to die like three times and then the door head ant's going to jump to the front. So we actually get like an extra 8-8 on our muskox here. 
<laughs> just love that. He had a second place door head ant, so it just like jumped into the same position. Yeah, look at this. Very big. If you use emu, beat a fish. Bet fish. I can't remember what it does. Before faint, give the nearest friend behind plus three plus three. I'm not seeing the synergy there. I don't know. I, I don't know how that would work. You know, in a good way. Now, question is, what am I looking for all the game? I mean, Dart Frog is a nice replacement for the Mustox if I can get if I can get that working. Hmm. Oh, I'd, I'd really like to, but I can't. I can't not buy it now. I think, and we didn't find this anyway. So yeah, we'll just like buy this, and then we roll a bit. I think. Or maybe we buy the avocado. I'd rather find a muskox this turn, though, and it's, we're more likely to find it. So, yeah, never mind. We will continue rolling, because I'm just looking for this. Uh, yeah, we're <laughs> done with that. I am seeing these emus. Friend faints. Push the nearest friends ahead to the front. Works one time per battle. So it will give us one extra... One extra trigger here. Uh, I guess I do freeze. I guess I do. Mustox strong. It is very strong early. If you get some summons for it, then it can be really good. And also, I'm kind of loving that the doorhead ant keeps eating these weaknesses. I swear I like never ran into fleas yesterday, and we've been running into quite a few today. Add flying fish? Where? I'm losing it. Where is he? There. Friend summoned, give it plus one, plus one. We don't really have many summons, though. We just have like these two. And we're not going off like an extra 2-2 two -two isn't going to carry. Alright, I think we can get rid of the chipmunk now. I could, like, give it better equipment, maybe. Like, buy a banana, sell it, and then we can get, like, a lot of value there. Uh, so this buffs something with a faint ability, which you do have one. But it's from the shop. Oh, this is annoying. Alright, you know what? We'll just take the eggs. <laughs> the eggs are okay. Uh, you have an egg. I'm gonna buy this. You have an egg. Uh, I mean, I could just get rid of this. Like, we don't really need to have something with a faint ability. Like, we don't really need the 2-2 two -two from it, I mean. So let's do this for the extra gold. And then, I don't think we need any of that. Still no. Still no. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well there's a dart frog, so we could go for a dart frog instead. And I am much more inclined to do that. So, I'm gonna see if I can make that work instead, I think. Yeah, before faint, give the nearest friend behind plus three plus three. I'm not seeing what the synergy is with this team. I may just be blind or something, but yeah, let's go for a dart frog build. So right now we're going to get what? Well, this is going to die like three times. So that's like twelve damage, and then I'm assuming this one might trigger first. So then it gets another one, and then the door head ant jumps to the front, and we get a fifth. So that's that's a lot of damage. I'm gonna try it this way. You think Emu might mess up, mess up the order? It will mess it up? I don't know. They're both four attacks, so I don't know what would trigger first. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's not good. The counter to the whole pack is chili pepper. Thankfully, there is no chili pepper in the pack. You know what, let's just... I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Push the nearest friend ahead to the front, works one time per battle. Yeah, that just like breaks the build. I assumed that that was fine. I'm gonna run a second one of these and I guess. Uh, it, it depends what we get leveled up. Okay, we level this up. I'm gonna do it now because I don't want to lose. And Crane is also pretty good, so I guess I'll do this. So now we get like four triggers on here. We're going to get like one on here, but that's fine because we can't do anything better. I think we just. Never mind. <laughs> I just left it at the back. I forgot how it worked. Trust Kino. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't think when I stream. Emu is nice, but level 3 feels hard to use. Is it just because there's not enough room? I don't know. I don't know what the synergy thinks are. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, Kino gets a full mask class on sap while being distracted by a BS on chat. <laughs> Definitely not a master class because I don't know what I'm doing. Use Emu to push slugs to the front, in the front of the dart frog. No, because, well, I mean, I could do that if I had something else to start at the front, but it would have to be 
Yeah, it, it's screwed now. Like, I maybe could have done that, but I'd have to have something at the front that isn't a summoner. But I didn't think that. Everyone just said that Emu was screwing my team, so I sold Emu. <laughs> Which is fair, because it was screwing the team. But yeah, again, I haven't used anything in this game yet, so I'm I'm still learning. Don't attack me, please. Yeah, tier 5. You can maybe buff this with the lettuce, but that is very pointless, I think. Uh, I'm pretty tempted to go for like a Manta Ray build at some point, but I don't think this is it. And you know what? We're going for that instead. <laughs> I I would much rather see the Dart Frog start popping off. But yeah, I don't know how else we're going to do that. Dude, let's just buy more, right? Oh, it's the Flea, too. There's a lot of good things here. I think I do buy the Flea. So I'm going to do this. We're going to try and pivot to a more of a snipey team. And... Nah, never mind. That's actually not that good. We, sh we should probably be looking to get rid of it now. It was good when we had, like, one big thing. How am I finding the new test server? I mean, it's fun. <laughs> I'm still learning because I barely played, but... Yeah. Love that they've added new stuff, but yeah, blanket. it. Hello. Not for this build anymore because Emu is gone. Yeah, like, I think it would fit in the build. We just needed a different order. I haven't seen anyone else play the game yet, so, like, I don't know what people are doing. Crane. Yeah, we get rid of the crane. Again, it just doesn't have synergy. I'm going to play this separately instead of just keeping it on the team for now. <laughs> and then, like, I could buy these, and we're probably, like, keeping a lot of it, but... Let's roll. Alright, leveling up the slug. That doesn't really do anything for us. Like, we get slightly more stats, but it is only slightly more stats. And it's like, get rid of the flea and run, like, double... Double poison dart frog slug. Two words, grizzly bear. Oh, no, I'm avoiding that. That's the one thing I have done, really. Why is Dorant still on the team? Because it gets me an extra trigger for this. So it's an extra 8 damage, plus it's like, you know, a 410, which is by far the biggest thing on my team. I don't know what else I'd put in, though. Like, what else synergizes with these things? Friend faints. If it has a faint ability, activate it again. So that won't work with my current team. Friend ahead attacks. No, because you need to scale it. So obviously, Grizzly Bear would be really good. Uh, faint, give one random friend plus one plus one, triggers two times for every attack it has. Friend summoned, give it attack. We could maybe use a German Shepherd in this build, but I don't know. I don't know if we can get much stronger with what we have. Banana on Dorant, maybe. I guess, but it doesn't really improve us that much. We basically get a 4-4 four, four instead of a 2 damage hit. I don't think that saves us, because it won't get any extra triggers either. Oh no, it will, because it doesn't summon anything. Yeah, you're right. Never mind, that is a good suggestion. I thought that would be like pushing something in front of it, but yeah, it's on faint. Oh. <laughs> we don't even gain the level up on the flea, so I'm like, do I even keep this? Okay, let me just continue rolling them. There we go, we have a banana. Uh, I'm just going to leave the Dark Frog where it is. I probably should have combined and just bought some other random thing, but I think this is okay. Does the Dark Frog snipe count as an attack? You're going to have to explain that a bit better. Like, it's, it's not an attack in the sense that it's bumping into something else. Hey, never mind. <laughs> not ah. Uh. It was so good. By the way, chocolate cake is amazing. I'm not really seeing how I'd apply it here. Like, maybe just on the slug on the last turn or something. I'll say, hey, level 3 Dart Frog. Alright, I'm keeping this. It stays. Give three random friends with a faint ability plus two. No, we only have one of those, and we don't care about it that much. I can maybe get to the Highland Cow if we don't find anything else. No, more flea. Save money. We're still doing, like, very well somehow. Alright, so this thing... This all works. I think this is okay. <laughs> I don't know whether I move these somewhere else or not, though. Like, positioning in this pack, I just have no clue what's going on. Also, we insta snipe one of their Dark Frogs. And wait, Robot Dog! Thank you for the 10 months. <laughs> Appreciate it. Does Double Flea really work? It doesn't, but... Well, I mean, it may do if they have two things with the same HP. But this was just a, I wanted to upgrade my Flea, so I might as well buy both that turn instead of doing some other thing. I'm telling you, man, just one chili pepper is all it takes. Chili pepper doesn't exist. It's literally not in the pack. I'm safe and no one else can counter me with it. Alright. 
Yeah, we're not doing Grizzly Bear. It doesn't actually work that well because we only have like one slug, but we do need to find something else for this team. Blue ranged octopus is a maybe, but I don't need, I don't know if I can get any more summons. Like another door head ant, maybe. Onion the frog. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can definitely do that. I need to put something else in here though, because again, two two of these are terrible. It was just to save money. Like I wanted to buy it, but I might as well buy it that turn and <laughs> just pray. Did you forget that you're on a custom pack? What? I'm, I'm not on a custom pack. This is the, the thing. Banana the flea. I mean, it's a slight improvement. I think I'd rather just get like a tomato though. Oh no, I could, okay, yeah. I could banana a flea if that's the thing that's going to get pushed behind this. In front of that. Whatever. <laughs> what else am I doing? I don't need extra triggers because that could screw up my order. So yeah, it's not that. None of this does anything. I mean, there's the banana. Alright. So you have one of those. I probably just, like, combine now and then play something. Like, <laughs> another dart frog for a turn? Who knows? Do you have any trumpets? We are summoning stuff, so maybe we get that in the, in the fight for now. Alright, we do need to find an onion, though. Bird of Paradise? It'd be a bit of scaling, but yeah, we just need to get an onion on my... On my frog. Oh no. This is bad. Oh, actually, <laughs> maybe we're okay. Might depend what we get to snipe. Hey, okay. We survived it somehow. <laughs> what do I think of the new life system? I'm a fan of it, I think. Like, it does make the games last a little bit longer, but I think in general, I really didn't like how the early game mattered so long into the late game because like you know you lose let's say you lose like two early rounds you just like you're suddenly on like six hp and that's like one hit off lethal but in this case if you just like i don't know it doesn't hurt as much if you have like one thing on one hp and that's what you lose to <laughs> it's suboptimal hello uh yeah no we need to find we need to find onion and i need to replace this with something better but i don't know what that's going to be yet i can do this but like we have I <laughs> did two stuff on the team. Pita breads. I mean, I could chocolate cake. If this is going to be the last turn, then it might not be a terrible idea to like do that to something. Pita bread is also interesting, but... Yeah, I don't know. So this isn't actually that good, because it's going to be like level 1 and very small. But I, I swear, like, buying this is probably better. Sniping goes crazy. I'm going to take this. I'm going to leave the chocolate cake. I'd much rather find that the onion. Uh, risk it. Risk it. Didn't find it. All right. Let's take an eggplant then. I'm going to throw it on here because it does buff the other things based on that. But yeah, I think we're pretty happy to leave everything where it is. How does the new health system work? They've basically changed it so you take damage equal to... Hold on. Dude, these snipes are actually, like, saving us. I know it's targeting the things as they get summoned, but, like, we're actually getting the poison dart frog triggers. But yeah, you, you take damage based on um, the amount of enemies that are left. So we died to one thing, so we lose one HP. But it's capped at three, so, you know. You can't take more than your current turn thing or, uh, or three. I don't know how to talk, but, yeah. It's that. Arena feels way too long now. I haven't played enough, so I, <laughs> I do know the games are longer, but... Yeah. I can't use any of this. Like, we're actually just looking for, like, onion, maybe some snap food, and, I don't know, level up for you. There's an onion. So, yeah. Move one space back when this is at front once. So, I can put that on there. So, all the slugs die, and then this will jump to the front, and then that dies and summons a... Uh, wait, no, I don't know which, like, triggers first. Like, what if that goes behind at the same time as this, like, jumps forward? Because then it won't actually get an extra trigger off. I'm going to leave the potato. I'd rather get like a pit bread or something on there, I think. If I'm getting anything. Uh, yeah, let's keep rolling. No. I'm actually just going to like freeze all of this. We're still basically at the end of the game. And thank you for the hydration. This is a very big team. And this is the combo that I wanted last game. <laughs> I wanted ring octopus and catfish because it's like actual scaling and it did work and it's actually worse than me 
We actually beat that? Oh my god. Alright. Poison Dark Frog actually pops off. That was not bad. Yeah. Good run. Okay. It's only longer if you lose. I mean, true. It doesn't make it that much longer, but... It, it does mean that it's possible to lose nine times and still win. Which is actually just insane. I doubt it would happen, but yeah. You like the new Falling from the Sky animation? Oh, dude, that's one of the things I unlocked. And hey, we got Lava Cave. But yeah, there's uh, different, like, entrance animations. And I have... I only have one other one at the moment. That's Rocket Drop. Cause, like, there's the standard bounce in one, and then there's... There's this, where you, like, come down from the sky, and it's awesome. It actually looks better in slow-mo, but... Yeah. The sheer contrast between your team's stats and theirs. <laughs> I know, and it wasn't even enough for them. I was, like, so sure that I was going to die. Alright, let's go again. There are so many builds I need to try. <laughs> I haven't had them yet. Alright, Cone Snail. I think that's actually pretty good here. Is that or a Chipmunk? And I actually don't know if I need Cone Snail. I've been buying them a lot, and there aren't that many things that benefit. Like, maybe Cone Snail with a Lizard? Oh, let's try that. Let's see if we can find a Lizard and actually, like, keep one of those on the team. And let's be the Willing Fossils. Do we know what will become of Snack Points? They still exist. When you end a round... Hold on. Okay. <laughs> when you end a round, you're, um... Oh, my words, they're not coming. It spends your points to buy cosmetics. So it's it's still the same. It's just like a more of a loot boxy thing now. What do you think about the <laughs> untitled goose? And then I don't know what the frog in custom thing is. Oh yeah, no. I've I've made a custom pack, but I haven't tried it yet. I have to imagine that it's extremely overpowered though, I just haven't seen it myself yet. Now the question is, do I buy this or do I roll for another snail? Or a sloth, maybe. Did I hydrate? I did. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and keep that. Alright, leave this where everything is. I think that's good. But yeah, I haven't tried out customs yet. I also, I'd be interested in knowing if it's like full of bots or if there are actual people in there already. Because when I first started playing this, like my first couple of games were like nothing but bots. But then after that, it was like all people again. So I, I don't know. I, I imagine there's this probably like filled up again. Alright, Stur well, Surgeon Fish. I keep saying Sturgeon, but it's not this. Tier 1 food is the only not great thing in Golden Pack. I mean, the thing is, that's still like a an apple in terms of overall value. And it's like, buying an apple is okay. Like, this having two extra attack probably does make a difference. So I'm okay taking that, I think. Uh, love a weasel. I mean, these are both okay. The problem is we don't have any trumpets. Hmm. I'm going to take it, but we do need to get trumpets from somewhere. Unless we just have it as a 3-3, which honestly is like okay as well, but not incredible. Ah, wait, no, I should need my weasel at the front. I was just thinking like, oh yeah, it's on the team, that means I'm going to get free money. But if it's not, if it doesn't die, then we don't get the money. Okay, it does die, so we should still get it, good. Bacon isn't as decent as peach or apple though, except with cone snail. Well... Then it's decent, right? What does that dog do? Uh, the bulldog thing? When it gets hurt, it sex sets its attack equal to health plus one. So it takes damage and then it, like, rescales its attack. Probably a lot of people optimizing the poison dark frog strat. <laughs> Probably. There has to be better things, though. I just hope it's not full of people just, like, doing grizzly bear scum <laughs> in the late game. I'm surprised I haven't seen it that often, like, in here. Wait, now we can do all, all tiers dogs only? You're right! I didn't even realize we have a tier 1 dog now. They added like three new ones though, because there's like... Where's the guy down here? Yeah, there's German Shepherd, there's this guy, there's the Golden Retriever, but... I haven't tested, I'm not actually sure if you can get him like, in your squad yet. You might be able to, but... Yeah, who knows. Anyway... I'm trying to decide whether it's worth going for this. Like, it's very big, so maybe I do. I'll take that, I think. I'm gonna leave these. Uh, I mean, like, I can buy it and sell it next turn and get a tiny, tiny tier 3. Which maybe it'll be okay if it's, like, a flea or something. Or if I can just, like, combine it with something else from the shop. You can't get trumpets outside of battle, sadly. What? But there's, like, this guy. Where is it? I don't know where it is. This. Like, faint gain two trumpets. Can you not just, like, get that to level 3 and then pill it? Like, I don't know. I assume that would still give you trumpets, even if you can't use them. 
I don't know. There's a lot of fish now. There's a lot of loads of things. Like, there's, like, variants of um, cows and ants and penguins. There's, like, so many things. More frogs. <laughs> just lots of stuff. Whales. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take this because I don't mind selling it again. I'm going to move that further forward because I want it to die. And, yeah, we're going for this. All right. All right. So, yeah, you keep getting the stats. Everything else is fine. I know this isn't working, but I can't be bothered to roll for <laughs> janky... Janky, uh, whatever it is. Instruments. Can I do ox only? Are there... Are there any two or are there more oxes now? And I don't know why your test server lags. I haven't had any lag with this since I started playing. I'm gonna sell this. I'm not gonna try and level it up. I just want to see a level 3. Friend summoned, give it 1-1. One, one. That's not bad, because I am probably going to pivot off the weasel and the surgeon fish, so... I just need to find some decent tier 3s. Honestly, the stats on these aren't that bad, and if it hits that, then I'm not unhappy, but it's not that likely to hit that. Before faint, give the nearest friend behind plus 3 plus 3. Alright, that seems pretty good. I think we get rid of this first, because I'm just not using it. <laughs> and then, I, I said I might do lizard, but now I feel like it's a bit late, because it's also, like, tiny, and we can't level it easy. Like, a guinea fowl would be so much better with the comp we have. Dude. Manta ray. Ah, uh, what can I do with a manta ray? Like I could take a manta ray because I could like sell the weasel, buy that. I don't know, sell flying fish, buy the bead fish, and combine or something. I don't know if it's worth it though. The hat on the weasel like, scuff. Oh god, that is terrible. Like it's very high on most of these, but like that is that isn't right. <laughs> this is only would be fun if we used every lizard. I agree. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to leave the uh, Manta Ray. No, I'm not going to do that. Ignore me. Alright, we're going to do it like this then. We're running the four squad. I'm going to buy that. We're definitely not buying more possums. Now, we have one level three. So, yeah. Lettuce isn't it. Uh, so, that's going to buff the thing behind it. But they both buff the thing behind it. So, I, I think it's probably fine. Chocolate cake, the better fish. What does that do, though? Oh, I see. I don't know. That's just like an expensive 3-3, three, three, though. <laughs> I don't think that's actually that good. Marmacac was bugged yesterday. Level 2 acted like level 1. Which is the Marmacac? What is a Marmacac? Oh, Macaque. Wait, so that's a... That's a... A monkey thing. I, I don't know where it is, though. I, don't, <laughs> I have no clue. What is even the hat placement on the Stingray? I don't know. He's, like, holding it. It's a tier 5. Ah, this. Yeah, I don't actually know if I've used this yet. It's a game plus one plus one. For each friend that can gain gold. And that's your food. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate it. Uh... I don't know, I still want to use the Manta Ray. Like, I'm enjoying this. But I need to find, like, a better fish upgrade. We can probably just get rid of this. But I would like to get some use out of it. Uh, there is Meerkat. Meerkat is something that I can use to scale these, but it's also... I don't want to say late, but it's very small already. Is there anything next here? I mean, I could just, like, find a load of Manta Rays and... <laughs> I don't know, Oyster. I think we take it. I think I go for this. I'm just going to leave the possum ability, I think. Let's take this, buy that, and actually buying it triggers the first um, three golds. So that's kind of nice. And then I'm rolling for more of these and the better fish. <laughs> that's like it. Or I could buy these. I'll freeze one. Actually, no, buy it now. I'm not really using this properly yet. Uh, and then I could buy a lettuce, and it is a 2-2 buff, which I think is probably worth it. So yeah, we'll do that. Then I want this to buff you, I think. Maybe this way around, so we're buffing like this and then this. I think that's still pretty good. Or it's just one free gold. Yeah. Like, it's going to be good, especially if we're doing this, because we're going to be getting some extra gold every turn from this. Oh, thank god. <laughs> we're going to be getting some extra gold every turn because of this guy. And then we can scale just by like trying to spend all our money with this. And yes, I could do this and we get a plus 3-3 three, three on the thing behind it. And I may do that, but I'd rather wait for a a combination first. 
I don't know about bananas though. Like, are there better things? I guess not. I think I do put bananas on some of these. Hey, okay. All right, so we have this. Nurse shark, do not care at all. Oyster is weird. I'm a big fan. It kind of reminds me of um, platypus, but it's a little bit easier to use. You call to the level two possum strat every round. What? I literally said I wasn't going to use it. This isn't a team that really benefits from having death rattle things. Why is eggplant just better chicken leg or has it been changed already? I think it wasn't meant to be because someone pointed out at the start of the stream and then I tested it that it doesn't actually give plus three plus three. It gives plus three plus two. And they've removed chicken leg? Really? Oh god. <laughs> it's, it's such a mess. It is the test server, so I'm not going to complain too much, but it's kind of funny. Alright, I'm going to buy this. Uh, I'm not buying a lettuce. Just show me like manta rays, meerkats, uh, chocolate cake, I guess. No, don't buff this. Getting scammed. Alright. Uh, send it, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. We're not really getting good value out of these things. Like, the meerkat scaling is very weak compared to the Bird of Paradise, whatever the late game thing is. At the very least, this is a very strong team. You think Chicken Leg is still in test servers? I can custom packs. I, I have no clue. Alright, now question. Do I actually do this? I do like the Manta Ray, but it does make the... where it is? The Bird of Paradise a little less good, because you probably do want a full team with that. I think I don't buy the chocolate cake. I could freeze it maybe and if, see if I find a better tier 5. Because if I find like a silver fox then that'd be a really good thing. Yeah, I think that's fine to do. So I'll freeze that. Uh, I, I just want to find more of these, honestly. <laughs> I really just want more of those. Again, this just isn't good. It only buffs the manta ray. Okay, well, this is free at least. Easy triggers for you. Uh, do I care? Hold on. Because that's probably the next thing I get rid of if I do. But maybe I can just like tank a turn of not having... Ow, okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to combine those again. I'm not buying this. Like We're probably going to be putting that on next turn, so I've had this frozen for so long. And I obviously can't buy a waffle, so what I'm going to do is like roll three times. And then combine them again. Alright. Yeah, so I'm going to send like this again. What I'm hoping to find is a silver fox. If you can get Bird of Paradise, it's a lot better. Also, four squad. Yeah, I'm running a four squad because this guy only triggers when I have a four squad. And having an extra meerkat isn't... I don't know, it, it didn't feel necessary. What does Banana do? It summons a 4-4 monkey whenever you... Whenever it dies. Actually, we got a level up, so that might be a... Bird of Paradise. Okay. Alright, it, it is not, and it's not that useful, but we at least have a Meerkat on the team now, so we do have a bit of an, an economy build going now. Uh, I'm just trying to debate, because like, if I have, if I do have like a load of Birds of Paradise, then do I want to have a slot open just so I can buy and sell oysters? Because that's just like easy money generation. But I don't know how often they're going to show up. Because there aren't many sell things that I can really like sell and feel good about. So I don't know, maybe I do just run... I like I don't invest in this anymore, instead I try and like buff the meerkat and just find loads of those. With the new health system, the one one pet only lobby would be very long. I mean you can probably change it, because it already like versus lobbies already had like custom rules, so you could like change that stuff. I imagine you'd be able to change it. I'm just gonna unfreeze this. I'd rather I'd rather have chocolate at this at this stage, I think. And <laughs> I don't trust any of this. I could buy and sell this, and it is buffing some things I care about. But like, where are the other manta rays? Like, why am I getting like screwed over with this? There we go. There is also this, which is amazing. Start with that. Don't buff it. Alright. Uh, yeah, just keep rolling. More meerkats. But do I? It's so weird. I guess I do. We're probably keeping the meerkats. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, we can level up the meerkat next turn, so that's not too bad. I could also level this up, but like... It's already been upsetting me, so who knows. Do you think pack 4 lobby would be OP? I don't see what would make it OP. But 
Like, if everyone's on the same pack, then it's not really OP, but we... I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to be, like, available to play anyway. I'm going to put this here. I, I do feel like it's... We're not going to get rid of it. I shouldn't do that. I should be combining straight away, otherwise there's a chance they buff each other. <laughs> now, I probably... No, I was going to say I buy the egg, but I can just, like, roll for chocolates again. Then if we find the bird of paradise next turn, okay. Alright, stop. Oh, they're spreading out the buffs in, like, so annoying places. Alright, whatever. Chocolate cake is better and more expensive pill. Use in your beater and you'll get plus 99 pet behind. That's not true, though, because it'd be plus 66. I'm pretty sure it says that's until the end of battle, right? Or the chocolate does? I'll have to check. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't, like, maintain its level up when it dies. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, gain three experience on start of battle and faint at start of turn. But normally, start of battle abilities don't persist into the next turn. So I don't know. The hat your next enemy wears. I, I, I no. <laughs> I'll just like choose one, but I don't even have all the hats, so. What's the new one we got? Yeah, the rude hat. Alright. Why does the chocolate look weird? They changed the sprites for like everything. Oh, all, all the food at least. And what are trumpets? I don't know how I'd explain. It's a new synergy thing, like uh, strawberries were. It's like, do I do this or do I wait for Bird of Paradise? I'm waiting for Bird of Paradise. We have stats, we've been somehow not dying. But it better show me a Bird of Paradise. Otherwise, I'm wasting a lot of time. <laughs> okay, well, at least I can buy sell this. Don't get buffed by that. Good. Bird of Paradise, please. Bird of Paradise? <laughs> this is so dumb. I mean, I'm liking this. Like, we are getting decent meerkat value. I obviously should have done this at some point. See, that kept working. But I want to get an instant level 2... Whatever it is. <laughs> they just don't exist. Didn't read the start of battle part, sorry. No, it's fine. Like, I haven't actually tested it, so for all I know, it does work that way. Like, I, I don't think it should work that way, but it might work that way. Is the eggplant also plus three plus three, or are you misreading? It is plus three plus three. I don't know if it's meant to be, because when you... There we go. When you buy the the eggplant, it's actually just plus three plus two. So maybe it's not actually meant to be <laughs> like that. And yeah, here we go. It begins. I want more of these, please. And you know what? Next turn, you're going and we're replacing you with something. I know the manta ray won't work anymore, but I'm okay with that for one turn, I think. Maybe. Unless I just sell this. Oh, it's, it's so dumb, because this will take like two turns to get rid of. Like, I'll have to have it this turn, and then I'd have to have it next turn. And I really wish I could see, like the counter on these, like, whenever I went for it. Manta doesn't trigger now, though. I know, but, like, my option is, like, get rid of this. I mean, I could get rid of this instead, but... Honestly, I don't think this is worth the 6-6. The question is more, like, can I survive a turn without it? Sell snail, buy cake. Huh? You know what? I actually think that is okay. I don't mind, like, tanking a turn. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to put this on the... Bird of Paradise thing, I think. But we need to find other things, because like spending a lot of gold does give us a lot of buffs, but this isn't the sort of team that is going to survive like a long while. Yeah, go there. Give that the buffs, we're looking for more. And <laughs> royalty, hello. Any fun dreams lately? Dreams? No, I don't really dream. Or if I dream, I don't remember it. And thankfully we're not going to die here, because never mind, the IG is big enough to kill us. Oh, I thought we were going to trade. <laughs> At least it's 1 HP. Again, it doesn't hurt as much. It's nice. Alright, Silver Fox. It will get buffed up, and it is a, a money thing. I just don't know how well we're going to be using this. <laughs> I kind of want to just have a load of Birds of Paradise on the team. But it could get so big, and if we can level it, then it'll get like a lot of money for us. I think I do take it. And I don't like how it growls like a creepy dude. <laughs> I'm running these separately. I may sell the Silver Fox again or something, or maybe the Meerkat. 
But yeah, we're going for like multiple of these, I think. Dude. Oh, there's another one! Wait. Uh... <laughs> Can I afford to sell the manta ray? I, I don't know if we're going to be getting like more from the silver fox. I want to run as many of these as possible. Meerkat just worse burb. Yeah, but it's kind of big. And again, this is the thing that's kind of annoying me at the moment. Like, these two generate money. And we need more money than we do, um, you know, more scalar stuff. But again, if I'm running like three of these, then I could maybe run like three of these and one manta ray. Maybe that's okay. Why did you just turn into Mickey Mouse? <laughs> I don't know what I did. Uh, yeah, we can maybe just get rid of that. Get rid of the meerkat, play this, and then sell the fox again and <laughs> run like this one. I think we can survive that. Yeah, put down there. And then if I sell this now, we get to roll once and we get to get four extra gold in the next turn. I think that's just how we're going to do it. I think this is this just is the squad now. Alright. Go go my team. I need to try and find some pita bread, I think. Like I like buying um chocolates. But we definitely need something else on this. Trigger resets if the bird levels up. What? That's such a scam. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, it's good to know at least, so thank you. And I still think it's worth leveling them, but yeah, that is unfortunate. I mean, I don't see a reason not to take this. Just stack it, see if we can get it leveled up, because we're probably sticking with everything we have. I can maybe buy tomatoes, but I don't want that. I don't want these. No. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so then it triggers one more time. I'm not buying this, though, so we just like trigger it with uh, three more rolls. I don't know. This is going on something, though. Probably that, but yeah. Wait, what happened? How? <laughs> what do you mean? We're scaling with the birds of paradise. Oh, yeah. This is... Hmm, wait. No, this isn't good. We have, like, no HP. <laughs> it's a grizzly. Oh. Pit bread seems weird. I like pit bread. It is just, like, a better melon if you have a big team. I'm going to do this to start. I think that's fine. Oh my god. Uh, okay, play it separately for now, but then I think I combine it into the back one towards the end. Dude. And then roll three times. I don't think onions it. <laughs> I don't even know. Do I just like abandon the, the extra? No, I can't abandon that because we need that for the money. If we don't get the money from this, then we can't, like, trigger two every turn. So yeah, roll once more. I'm going to leave the chocolates, and then I'm just going to combine those. We can survive. We can survive. We need the extra money. All right. So now we're basically just rolling for, like, food. And I also don't think I've seen any oysters. I may be losing it, but I don't think I've seen any. And it's another one of these teams. <laughs> it's not good. No, it's It's hurting. And they're going to have so many things alive as well. Yep. Alright, that kind of hurts. Just lost to a grizzly team three times in a row on nine wins. <laughs> That's literally where I'm at. Like, we were doing so well, and then I lose to two grizzly teams in a row, and now it's um hurting. Hey man, saw your vid on YouTube. You got some great contents. Glad you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the stream too. More burb. Thing is, again, we need to get these... Like, I don't think having one extra bird is as useful as making sure that we can get two triggers from each of them every turn. Like, in this case, we get to start with 16 gold, which means we def we definitely have 14. If I sold that, then, well, you know, if I wasn't using that for triggers, then we'd only get one trigger every turn, which is half as much and not as good. Uh, question is, do I buy bad stats or do I just roll hard for food that might help? I think we roll. Like, this isn't even that good. Like, we can definitely look for other things. Uh, pretzel's fine. That's a 4-4 buff. I think I'll put that on something. Throw that there. I'm really hoping we see some oysters. Like, we're <laughs> going to need it. Uh, bit of bread. Yes, very happy to see that. I'm going to put it on here. I feel like that could be very good for us. I know I'm replacing a monkey, but I still... We get the best value if it's there. And then I'm not taking an egg. <laughs> we're, just, we're just rolling. If I die, I die. No, no more of those. We're done. Alright. Here's another pretzel, too. 
All right, let's go. Are you missing the ghost teams now? Did they just, like, take them out? I kind of prefer that I'm not going against ghost teams all the time because... Also, this is just hilarious. <laughs> I'm kind of happy because some of those teams are just so easy. Some of them were also, like, brutal, but... Yeah. Maybe the snake? There's no room, because, like, I could, I could throw something on the final turn, because, again, this thing, we don't need the extra money on the last turn, but... Until we're done, then I need the extra money. So, yeah, we need another one of these. I'll put it on... Again, am I buying the pretzel? I'm going to leave the pretzel. I think it's more important to get better equipment on these. And, yeah, you're staying as well. Maybe if I find another one. Oyster, huge. <laughs> yeah, no pretzels. Bits of bread for everyone. Perfect. All right. Don't need any of this. Still don't need chocolates. We just continue rolling. Like, there's no point doing anything with this. Just <laughs> you know what? Sure, we can just, like, end on another one. Just for the meme. I probably don't give him a pitch bread, though. Let's see if we can find a... Um, I don't know. Tomato? Dwarf is kind of fun. Like, it's weak, but it summons three little piggies. I mean, yeah, that's what makes it strong. Like, being able to just buy something and it insta-summons a load of spammy things. When there's a load... Because there's a load of things in this pack that benefit from spammy summons. Like, mostly the Saiger Antelope and the Grizzly Bear. Both of which are amazing with, like, slugs and wolves. Yeah, I can buy this this turn now, and it's not really painful. It's not that good. And honestly, there are probably better things, but, like, the meme. <laughs> the meme, we buy it. I guess to buy lettuce, and it's, like, a 3-3, but that's not that good. All right, let's see if we find, like, a tomato for this. I really don't think that's going to be it. It will gain... What's this going to gain? Like, 12-12? Oh, maybe not then. Maybe this is fine. Okay. And then... <laughs> I trust that I can find something better than bacon. I don't want to buy this roll once and not find any good stat food. Oh, we insta-found good stat food. Fine. So I'll take this, and then we just continue rolling. So there's the last trigger. I believe, at least. So if we draw somehow, then we won't get the trigger from the Manta Ray, and we won't get to do it again. But honestly, this team is just crazy. So I'm hoping it's enough. Hi, you're back. <laughs> Holy cow, what a build. It's been really nice. What is this? What is this? I think we're okay, but like, what? <laughs> Interesting, okay. But hey, look at that. We got a bird of paradise and manta ray build. I have to say, I'm a big fan of the manta ray too. He's so, he's so smiley and cute. Hi, <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, that's probably a YouTube one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Woo! Wait, wait, wait. There's an unlock. We get to see the unlock. And it's the golden poop hat. All right. <laughs> All right. Still good. Still happy. You love that the bird is just flat. The bird scares me. I've seen, like, pictures of it, but, like... Hold on. Where is... Yeah, view pack. Like, it just doesn't look right. It's like its neck is a bowl. It reminds me of, like, Tom and Jerry stuff where, like, the cat eats a bowl and it just has, like, a... You know, it's square or something in its neck. It just looks off. You looked it up and it just looks goofy. It doesn't look goofy, but it's, it's also great. Should you use all your treats before the updates? Uh, That I don't know, because I haven't looked at what the prices are. You still use your snacks to get unlocks, but it's just, like, random. But I don't know if they're changing the, like, pricing of it, so, like, the random ones you get are going to cost more than if you had bought them before. I've already spent all mine and everything, and I still have, like, 50k left, so... <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Can't believe the stingrays are one of the first... first fish? Before bones were invented. Wow. Alright. Back in. We return. After this, I may try editing a custom pack and see if we can get that going. But I actually don't know what I'd do for it. Like, the custom pack I made was going to be for Birds of Paradise and then, um... What's it called? Hammerhead Sharks. But we basically just had that build, so I guess not yet. And you know what? Let's do this again. I'm, I'm going to take this as well, but it's not that good. Alright, so let's be the unwashed failures. <laughs> See you later, Buzzkill. Have fun in class. But don't have too much fun. You have to work hard. Wow, we're actually getting countered by a goose. 
<laughs> it actually just like killed my two front lines for free. That's the one time I've seen it work. And you know what? Sure, I'll take one of these. I think that's fine. I got the freeze bacon, but I'm probably not buying it. Actually, let's just like take this. I'm okay with that. Worst case scenario, I just like combine my cone heads and then do something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try and level the bull the the bull dog. I'm not going to try and level it, but we definitely level the cone snail. It's very good. Also, something new, please. All right. After this fight, you shall have it. Hey. <laughs> See, this is going great. Yeah, I think that guy had the right idea with like a big backline goose with um blueberry on it, but sadly there aren't that many random snipes in the beginning stage. So just this guy, I think. Have fun though, learning is cool. I agree. I'm not good at learning. What am I doing? Hats. I forget things too quickly. Oh yeah, there's this as well, the Gorcho. Gaucho, I don't know. I'm calling it Gorcho until someone like gets angry at me. <laughs> All right, maybe I do take a stoat, and I can see if I can, like, wait until tier 5 or 6, and then get, like, some really cool high-level thing. I think it's worth trying, but to start, we go for this. And maybe we're going to have a trumpet game, because that is, that's pretty big trumpet synergy. Let's leave this. We need to find the bird. Not you. Don't really love gazelle here, either. Come on. There we go. There's the... There's the bird lad. And also he's a faint pet, so he gets buffed by the possum. We're actually using it. <laughs> and then maybe I do this just so we get like a, a little more damage on the team. Yeah, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to let this get buffed, I think. This thing doesn't need the attack. It just needs HP. So that, that works best. This thing is already very big, so I don't mind the surgeon fish. And it needs to be behind the, the whatever that is. So I think this, this order is like the best I can do. Aww. They get an instant kill? That's not fair. <laughs> My guy didn't even get to fight. Is Bear still bugged? Probably. Someone said it was earlier, so I assume so. Honestly, I could probably get rid of Silk Moth, just like buy this and stack that. I think a penguin is. This penguin is really good. I didn't love that. This thing doesn't need attack. And let's keep rolling. If I find penguins or another stilt, then that's amazing. Like, I could buy a cherry. I wouldn't buy a cherry. I could buy an egg, but also no. Alright, we buy that next turn? No, we buy it this turn. We need to make room. So I'll just, like, do this. Doesn't really make a difference, because... Yeah, that thing's going to go off anyway, but... Let's try this. And micro girl, hello. Watching streams so you don't have to go outside in the cold. Oh, it's been, like, rainy here recently. I definitely feel that. Saved, thank you. It was triggering on summon and faint yesterday. It was Omega Cringe. Saying Omega Cringe is Omega Cringe. Falcon. I do want to try a Falcon game. I don't know what like synergizes with it though. Like we can get rid of the bulldog and like put that behind the surgeon or the cone head or something. It probably has high enough attack. I don't know. Let's just buy, like, buy it for now. If I'm selling the Bulldog, then I need to find something else worth <laughs> replacing it with first. Uh, we're not doing Summon, so Muskox isn't it. Flying Fish. Again, not Summons, and we already have too many things we're kind of locked in on at the moment. Alright. Guinea Fowl would be really cool. I'd love to see that. And then what's the other one that synergizes with Trumpets? Oh, it's the Surgeon Fish, right. <laughs> Alright, I need to find a Guinea Fowl then. And wait, it's Bane! Bane the Enigma, thank you for the six months! That's a long time, thank you. Cobra goes way too hard with the trumpet build. I've never really used it. Because it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't seem amazing to me, because it takes so long to get working, right? Because like, at level one, at level one as a default, it's just doing like two mosquito snipes. It obviously gets better the more you scale it, but I don't know, scaling in, the, scaling in this pack, I don't know if it's hard, but I've only done it once. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't really love most of this. We need one level three I care about. Okay, we can definitely do that. And I think we have a chain. I don't think we need this anymore. So we can like get rid of the bulldog. Have that, because we are going to be generating four, which is enough for both of these. I do need to rearrange, but I'll do that in a second. All right, so 
you're going to have to be at the back. And the question is, do I give it plus 3-3 three, three or just more HP? Let's give it plus 3-3. Three, three. I'd rather... I'd rather go like this, I think. Alright, that works out for me. It's not a proper trumpet game, but there are trumpets involved. <laughs> no. Sadly, my egg did nothing. Okay. Dude, wait, there's actually like value in there. It, it didn't happen, but like imagine summoning the weasel from an enemy weasel, and then we just get extra money after the fight. Again, it didn't die, so we didn't get the money, but like... That's awesome! I never actually thought about that interaction. <laughs> you could just like get free money if you get a good matchup. You'll accept it just this one speed. <laughs> like watching from the bin. The bin's great! It's the best place. Yeah, we're not doing that. I don't care enough about it. Show me a sturgeon fish, and I don't know. I don't know what else I'd like. Never mind, I definitely know what else I'd like. Oh. Freeze. We combine next turn. I'd rather see a tier 5, I think. And then I'm hoping to see a cherry, which we haven't. But I'd also rather not freeze any of this. I could maybe blueberry that. But a cherry is better, I feel. We found it, but it's a bit late. Because I can't buy it this turn. Uh, lettuce will hit the falcon, but that'll be it. So yeah, I'll, I'll wait on this one, I think. So I think we might have gotten a little bit weaker. It depends how many hits this can get in. And that's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, because now that dies in one hit, so we didn't get any value out of it. <laughs> and then we get, like, bad trades. Oh, no. Come on. Give it a chance. There's another falcon. Silver Fox. It's an early Silver Fox. I think I'd rather swap out the Falcon for the Silver Fox, honestly. I could maybe get rid of the Guinea Fowl instead, but like, I don't think I'd try and buff both. Because they both only... I mean, that's after attack, so it only needs to live. But I really want this to be interacting there. Okay, let's just get rid of that. We really don't need the extra Trumpets at the moment. So that keeps that alive. Uh, yeah, I can't be bothered with the cherry anymore because I'm leaving that behind. Let's go for this anyway. So I'll let you have that, maybe. I'm trying to decide what order th what order I need everything in. Because like, I don't want to win too quickly because I at least want that to get hits in. This one is less necessary, so I'll leave it further back. But yeah, to gain permanent money, we do need to have this like getting some getting some triggers. Alright, how's this? Uh, no, this team scares me. <laughs> the Poison Dark Frog won't do too much, but it's a very big team. Thankfully, we've got some money, at least. So, not all's bad. But yeah, we had, like, no chance there. Alright, what else have you got? Psyger Antelope is, like, really good. If I, like, bought that and a load of slugs and gave this something, then it's definitely good. Uh, I don't... No, this is before attack. I was gonna say I was gonna, like, do this and get some stuff, but... <laughs> I think I'll leave that. Uh, what will I be looking for, though? Like, a Falcon level up. Probably some bananas. It's not synergy, but they're big. Encountered your first grizzly team. Not having fun. Yeah, they're, they're very broken. You really don't want to get matched up against them. I don't like any of this. Like, even the food isn't very good. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm not touching any of this. Like, I could maybe throw something on something, but... <laughs> you... Oh god, okay, look, we're just buying an avocado. Like, I'm not gonna find better things, right? Yeah, and then we just roll for the hawk. Roll? Okay, wait, we can get a tier 6 next turn. That's not bad. That's still pretty good, and we still have a lot of HP left. Game is really creative. Lots of variables for new pets to work with. Devs came up with great strategy. It is really nice. God. I can't beat these teams. Why is it so big? This is the problem. I feel like some of these... Some of these builds you just have to have. Because like normal... <laughs> normal janky teams can't keep up with something when you have like a 30-30 on, you know... Round 20, just because you have like a... You know, very fast scaling synergy. Cake Sash Fox seems like a good cash infusion pivot enabler. 
I agree, but I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to keep the fox, but make it big. I'm going to leave the grizzly. It's obviously very good, and I can definitely pivot to just, like, buying wolves and slugs. But, yeah, grizzly is kind of scum at the moment, so I'll be leaving that, I think. You can see the future synergy being based around turn wins and hearts. Oh, I have no clue. I'm going to do this. I still want to level up. Another one. Uh, we're going to leave all of this. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to take a wolf just because it is big. Like, it's a 4-4 four, four that summons three four ones. Like, you can get good trades out of that, and then I can maybe just, like, ends on a banana. I don't trust this, though. <laughs> we only have one thing that's getting gold, and that's not that much. Yeah, I think, Coast Snail, you can probably go. I'll buy this. I'm just wondering if there... Oh, no, I can find, like, chocolate. Let's leave it. I want, I want this leveled up. Come on. Not the chocolate cake, just regular chocolate. Uh, fine. Fine, I'll try and level it anyway. Alright, I'm gonna send it like this, I think. Mm, what is this team? Oh, it's got an E in okay. Yeah, no, this is a lot better than me, I think. <laughs> no. We didn't get any triggers. We didn't lose, but like we didn't get any money. Are we having view lobbies on the test server? I think it'd be fun. I'd like to start on the test server at least, but I feel like every time we've done test server lobbies, we've had like, you know, a quarter of the number of people like available for it. So it may depend. I think we start with test server and then move on to normal if we have like, you know, five people. <laughs> How are you today on the new Pokemon release day? I am not going to play it, so I'm very indifferent. But I'm okay. I just don't know what I'm looking for anymore. I'd like a level up, but like this team doesn't really have much synergy going for it. It's free money, but I'd have to sell something for no reason. So it's like... <laughs> yeah, we're not going for a level 3 there. It's too small. Like, how can I scale these things? Nah, I, I don't like any of this. Like, I do know Egyptian Vulture. Someone said Egyptian Vulture and uh, Warthog is very good. Give one random friend that. We could like maybe go for it. Like, it's a little late. You'll be joining at the very least. Oh yeah, how can you play on the test server? We do have a slash test command thing. So if you need it, then that's always available too. But yeah, I'm going to be starting the view lobbies later today. It's going to be like half past, not um now. Because we're going to be doing sap all day. Fire ants? Fire ants kind of interesting. It's, it's not incredible. But I can't like pivot off anything. <laughs> it's, it's so hard. Just give me a level up. Just for now, please. Not this. That's not a level. Wowie. Okay. Not even any chocolate. Did you buy Scarlet or Violet? I literally didn't even know they were called that. <laughs> I need to see if any of the streamers I watch are going to be playing it. I know a few of them are pretty into Pokemon, so I imagine I'll be able to watch it somewhere. Well, we do have a Bird of Paradise, which is synergy with this, because this can scale that up, and that can get money for more scaling here. Honestly, we're probably going to die either way. I can't, like, pill this to get the extra money this turn, so I think we just sell this now, honestly. Sell that, buy this, and we're rolling. I need to get that leveled up. I could maybe buy eggplants, but we need protective equipment more than that, honestly. And yeah, sure, pit red. Let's actually go pretty hard. I hate this so much. Because, like, scaling this is also good, so I don't want to get rid of that. These things, they, like, rely on each other. So I don't know if I can afford to get rid of them. Yeah, not this turn. I can maybe try next turn. Oh, God. Alright, next turn, I'm going to, like, hard pivot. For now... No, that's two. We don't touch that. For now, I just keep rolling. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we have a team set up. We're probably still going to die, but whatever. Maybe it'll be okay. Who's my favorite streamer? I think that'd be Justin at the moment. HC Justin. But I like a lot of the a lot of the NLSS guys. So this is not great for us. Yeah, we're extremely dead. Fair enough. Uh that is that is six. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Not terrible. At least we get a thing for it. 
Claim rewards, and we got the Kepi hats. It's fair enough, but I want to see the new things. There are so many new things. 